Oh, good morning, everyone. Today is the day we're gonna fit the new Max fan. Uh, why are we doing this? Well, um, we thought about fitting air conditioning, but the problem with air conditioning is uh, fitting it to the roof of this uh, would be heavy, uh, pretty expensive, and uh, also not very nice to look at. Um, with this new Max fan, um, it's quite a nice looking thing. It just replaces the, uh, the vent already there in the roof. So the hole is already there and uh, it's then electrically controlled and pumps air in or out depending on the temperature. How effective it's gonna be, we don't know, but it's certainly worth trying. And uh, one of the ideas is, is that then if we do get too hot, um, we can start the engine and use the engine's air conditioning, providing we're not on a campsite. It would probably be pretty antisocial to do that. But what we have found is that when we're in the van, um, good ventilation is important because now, of course, we haven't got a pop top. And so we're pretty much well sealed inside here. And the be benefits of the Max fan are that uh, you can have this vent open and extracting even if it's raining. So whatever the weather, we can get air circulating day or night. And also it's done automatically. So you can set a temperature and um, hopefully it will maintain a better um, internal temperature inside the van. So this video is gonna show uh, an abridged version of how we fit that. Um, and uh, I've got some help as well. An extra pair of hands is pretty useful, particularly when dealing with uh, inside and outside at the same time. So, remote control. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that could have been a disaster. That is not connected. Right. Let's go order some sealant. Beautiful bit of kit. There's the wire, and we found uh, a permanent 12 volt supply from the leisure battery uh, at the toilet. So we're going to piggyback onto there for the power. Um, and then what we've done, we've bought a new lead, and it's going up by the side of the toilet, up the seal, up to here where the trim of the toilet is. The plan is to put it around here and then hide it behind there, up through the cupboard, goes on the inside of this uh, cupboard above the toilet. Um, you can see, once it comes up here, we can run it from, the hardest bit's probably gonna be put it, putting it above the headlining across to here, but it's only a small distance. Uh, that's the plan. So the plan is now to go all the way up here, up there, and into there. So the shroud around the rear skylight is not the same size, but exactly the same design as the one there that you're looking at, which is like in the middle. And this one here at the back I've taken off and it just pulls off. See these? sort of um, sockets or ball and socket here. 
and that is what we've just taken off and it's, you just pull it off you have to be a little bit brave but uh, with a little bit of force they just pop off so there's no fixings as such on that and then you can see it exposes the liner and what I'm pleasantly surprised about is the amount of insulation in the roof here uh, and the nugget high top, which is great. So now screws all around here. Okay, back door now closed because we have to go up the ladder and try and detach the original Remis skylight nicely protected against the roof and there we go this is what it's like up here and so I've removed the the inner shroud and then now the thing that's holding it on is all the original sealant so I'm going to use these little prying tools to try and get underneath it before I do I'm going to use a paintbrush to get all the grime and bits and pieces out that you've got or collected from under the trees and then mask it off because I don't want to scratch it. So that's my next job. So working my way all the way around using these tools to help pry it open and pushing from inside and pulling from the top. There we go. That's really cringing. And I don't like the look at that now. So I want to get the new one installed as quickly as possible. So we're just wiring it up for the first test. There it is. And if I take a bit of kitchen roll, you'll see it's extracting at the moment. It seems to be pretty effective at uh, pushing air out, pulling air out. And then reverse the fan the control panel here. So these brackets here that hold the original top on, I had to put the original top on. This is the original um, uh, skylight. Um, I've had to put it back on again to measure uh, or mark where the brackets make the holes for the, there's like a ball and socket that the original surround pushes onto. So um, if you can see this bracket is designed to go into the original Remis skylight. So what we're gonna do, uh, the new uh, Max fan hasn't got this. So we're gonna do away with this bracket and we're going to screw the, uh, um, the ball of the socket straight in to the headlining, not have these brackets at all, because we don't need them. So I've gone around, marked them all, and then these come out again like that. And you can see where we've got to screw in the uh, the balls. Good.
just put, finish putting sealant all the way around this sort of three grooves in the outside there and now I'm going to go upstairs and put it on We've got the outer shroud or bracket on and it's sealed up and I'll probably have a go at tidying that up a little bit later. So before it goes on, let's uh, unwrap the protective film. So we've had the Max fan fitted now for about uh, a month and a half, something like that. We've done trips to Interlaken in Switzerland, down to the south of France and also the Dolomites. So we've had a good chance to test the Max fan on the top, which I'll show you more in a second. And um, is it worth it? Definitely. I'm really pleased with it. Very happy that um, we had it fitted. I think we can safely say uh, we wouldn't want to be without it now. Um, it's of course not as good as having air conditioning but uh, it can't work miracles. And uh, I don't think we ever expect it to be as good as that, but it is fantastic for ventilation. So I'm now gonna show you inside and some of the things which we found great about the Max fan. So it's parked up at home at the moment and it's 35 degrees outside. And inside here it's, as you can imagine, even more. So here's the controller. This works quite nicely. It does tell you at the moment internal temperature 38. Uh, it is a hot day. Uh, if say you've been out camping, you come back to the van and it's like this. Um, if we press fan on, you can hear it uh, opening up now automatically. The fan's coming on. And if you can see on here, these are the settings. Uh, it's pointless setting 17 degrees on a, on a day like this really because it's never going to get down to 17. So this is set temperature. I'm just increasing it because I think realistically you'd never get down to, uh, you know, that's 25 or less on a day like this. Uh, useful I suppose when the weather's colder and you don't want it to go too cool in here. Um, but uh, nevertheless uh, you can set the temperature and uh, then of course the fan speed if I want to increase it. So that's, it's quite noisy, but it's not, uh, but so as you'd expect, that's at 100%. And then when you have it right down at sort of 30%, I don't know whether the camera picks that up, but it's saying very quiet, and very nice. So at night time, you can have it just sort of trickling away like this at uh, about 30% or something. And you can hardly, you cannot hear that. Um, so that's nice, five of us sleeping inside here at night time, it keeps a nice flow. But what we have found that you have to do with this, we don't have to do it, but it helps a lot. If I increase the fan speed, right, like this, and now I close the door. All right, can you hear how the pitch of the fan changes? Is it? Okay, so it's effectively causing a, a lower pressure inside the back. It's sucking air out at the moment, and it's uh, not got a lot to work with. As soon as you open a window, so if I open this side window, you'll hear the fan change. There we go. Now, what it does then, of course, is starts a circulation going as soon as you open a window. And now there is a quite a draft, quite a noticeable draft coming in here, which wouldn't be there if that fan wasn't on, because there's not hardly any wind today at all. So if I 
switched that fan off. I can't really show you this very well uh, because I can't demonstrate the breeze. Maybe the microphone will pick it up. Okay, there's a breeze coming through there quite nicely now. I switched the fan off. Down it goes. And now I put my hand here now. There's no breeze coming in. So the lower pressure inside the van when that fan is sucking means that you get a lovely flow. Now that is exaggerated if you open this one. And what we found is if you have the max fan sucking, i.e. extracting air out. Okay, I'll just, uh, just close this one again. You can hear that pitch of the fan change. All right. Now I'm gonna open the skylight. Even bigger effect. Okay, I'll open it so it's completely going to be open now. If you listen. Right, and now there is a lovely flow of air being dragged in from the top that's circulating around. If you switch that fan off, you get nothing at all sitting here. So, for that effect, the circulating effect, it's, it is a cooling effect it does make it so much more pleasant in here and for that reason alone it's definitely worth fitting a max fan and don't forget with the max fan because it has a shroud around it it can be used in the rain Of course, the other thing you can do with this is turn the, uh, the fan the other way around so it's actually sucking air in. So if it's quite a cool night outside and you want to uh, uh, pump cool air in, you can do that. So to do that, you can just press this button here, which sort of changes the direction of the, uh, of the fan. So it changes it around. And then you get a nice flow of cooler air, if it is cooler outside, coming in. So it just depends on what you're trying to achieve, really, and how what the outside air temperature is. But, uh, um, you know, for a stuffy morning in the van, maybe, when it's a nice cool morning, you can see, you know, um, all nice cool air in. Um, but what we find mostly effective in uh, the hot climate here in Italy is uh, extracting from that one and dragging air in effectively from the other openings and it gives a lovely cooling flow. So those are some of the features with the Max Fan that we really enjoy and really like. Um, I've still got to um, complete this surround. This is this surround is the one that came with the Max Fan and uh, it's okay for now until I've figured out how to put the, uh, the original blind on. Um, it's not been any major problem so far because it doesn't seem to let a lot of light in. Obviously it's more light than uh, when you've got the blind over. But uh, it's not been a problem for the kids sleeping here with that first thing in the morning uh, until, well, we haven't found it a problem at all. Um, but it would be nice, I think it would look a bit nicer if I fitted or tried to fit the original. So um, as mentioned in that video, I've been marking and trying to measure. And that's what this black mark is here. I've got to put in uh, one of the sockets there and there to hold the original one up there uh, until I figured out how I'm going to do it because I did change my mind. I'm not that uh, keen on drilling into the roof. So I'll have to find another way of doing it. But bear with me and uh, you know I might do an update on that in the future. But for now, I think it looks fairly neat. And uh, all I've done with this one is it's, uh, it's velcroed under here onto the headlining. And that's how it sort of finishes off the uh, finishes off how it looks for now. So I think it's good enough for this year's trip. If I do get a chance to change it before we go on our big trip, I will. But um, I'm, I'm not too bothered at the moment. But maybe a winter project, try and install the, uh, the surround that looks like that one. I hope that's a nice little update on the Max Van and whether you should buy one. My recommendation is they are brilliant and I wouldn't want to be without it now. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again in another one of our videos. Bye for now.